Hello, Linux fans, and welcome to Linux Quest. Well, of course, I had to take a look at the new GNOME 3.26. So I managed to get this up and running on Atergos, and I'll put a link, if you're running an Arch-based system, I'll put a link there so that you could get this set up if you so choose. All right, well, I know this has been out a week or so, and, you know, there's several things to look at here, but I really want to focus in on this video with the new settings panel, but we'll give a quick rundown here. So there's a new improved system search. That's always welcome within any OS. Uh, the settings application, we'll take a look at that in depth. Browser synchronization, and I know for many of you this was a very nice addition, and that's using the Firefox sync service. Color emojis within their IRC client, which is Polari. And I haven't dug into that, that'll be something for later. Other changes included uh, with this update is the GNOME file manager now has a lot of bug fixes, uh, in place, but the biggie really is the full text search. So with supported documents, and I would guess that that's Libre documents, you can now search not only the file name, but any matching words inside the document. And so very welcome to see that. Other major changes include a redesign of the uh, display settings, uh, and they add you know system refinements, of course, with every update, um, screen adjustments, that will match the display density when you're working with you know your DPI settings. So improvements there. Overall, this is not a monumental update, but nevertheless, I think it's it's really a, a good update, especially in the settings application. All right, so we'll kind of go through this. You'll notice here. Let's maximize that. You'll notice here everything is lined up on the left makes it really easy to navigate. One of the areas within the GNOME desktop that's always kind of bothered me was they don't seem to make a good use of the available space. Now, if we have this minimized as it is when you first launch it, they're, you know, using the space. But what would be really nice is if you maximize things would be to see that kind of take up that space. But nevertheless, uh, the way it's laid out makes it really easy to navigate and I think adds uh, a bit of sophistication to the GNOME desktop. So you'll see Wi-Fi here on the left. Uh, you can toggle on or off airplane mode and of course see all of your available networks. Uh, Bluetooth, if I had that turned on and had Bluetooth hardware laying around, you'd see that here. Your background settings. Now here's an area again where there's a lot of blank space. If we minimize that, it does a better job. Notifications. Uh, you could turn your notification pop-ups on or off, your lock screen notifications on or off from here, and then go in and control individual applications. Search, so here again, long list of applications where you could toggle on or off search for those particular apps. Region and language. Universal access, so this is everything from you know, site changes, large text, cursor size, things like that. Uh, visual alerts for hearing impaired. Typing, uh, on-screen keyboard, keyboard settings for cursor blinking, so on and so forth. And then your mouse controls. So this is nice to see, you know, if you're hearing impaired or vision impaired, very helpful. Online accounts, nice long list there. Privacy settings, everything from screen lock down to purge trash and temporary files. Also here, big big one here, you can toggle on or off your usage and history. Sharing, don't have anything set up there. Sound, now this one's a biggie for me simply because doing videos I work with input and output a lot in my sound and sound effects. So really, really appreciate the way this is laid out. Power settings, another nice area here. You've got your, um, you know, your status for your existing battery, any connected devices power saving settings from your screen, um, your, your um, uh, dim screen, things like that, all the way down to suspend and power button. Network settings, nothing set up there, no VPNs or anything currently. And then we have devices, which brings you to another subcategory here. So we have printers, keyboard, and I know many of you will spend some time here in the keyboard settings. Just a nice long list mouse and touchpad controls, display, removable media, if you had a tablet, and then color settings. Overall, I think this, again, is a very nice improvement to the GNOME desktop. We'll go over the details here. Again, version 3.26.0. 
Uh, you've got date and time under subcategories here, users and default applications. Well, that is the in-depth look. There may be other areas of the GNOME desktop to look at a little later. I may wait till it officially releases because I don't think this is fully implemented. It seems to be running fine, uh, but it's not anything that I think I'll stick with at the moment. As always, thanks for watching, and we will check you later.